Large crowds turned out in the bright sunshine to see the Lord Mayor arrive in his newly restored coach, which last saw service over 40 years ago. The shamrock was blessed, presented to the city councillors, and the parade began with a march passed by a detachment of the army. A traditional aspect of the parade are the commercial floats and exhibitions, but in recent years many community groups, boys clubs, singers and dancers have become involved. But throughout the parade there is music from a huge number of bands. The Ardoyne Holy Cross singers were there. And there was a display by the Irish Boy Scouts. The Kickbortion Band from Holland made their first appearance at the parade and obviously enjoyed themselves. Port Falchus say there were more than 5,000 visitors and they were worth three quarters of a million pounds to the tourism industry. It's the highest number ever. There's always a big American presence in the parade, but this year's America's Bicentenary celebrations spilled over into Dublin. 150 members of the Boston Police Force took part. They were led by the Garda Band. But there were other American bands. The Neshaminy Langhorn High School Band gave an impressive display. But of course it's a big day for children and they had a fine time with all their favourite comic strip cartoon heroes prancing about. President and Mrs. O'Dolly drove to the Pro Cathedral in Dublin for St. Patrick's Day Mass. Archbishop Ryan and his auxiliary bishops attended the ceremony too. And at St. Teresa's Church in Mount Merion, there was the Shamrock Blessing Ceremony. It was blessed and distributed by Father Con McGillicuddy. He was assisted by Scout Leader Tony Fitzpatrick. A service at Saul followed a walk from the Church of Ireland Cathedral in Dan Patrick. St. Patrick is supposed to have established his first church at Saul. The Bishop of Down and Dromore, Dr. Quinn, and the Bishop of Derry and Raffoe, Dr. Eames, officiated. Yes. Cardinal Conway blessed and distributed Shamrock to hundreds of Boy Scouts, Girl Guides, and Knights of Malta after a St. Patrick's Day Mass in Armagh. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> 